still can't believe that you convinced me to do this Doctors Without Borders thing, Silerius. Oh my goodness! Cannibals! Quiet, Silerius. Don't move. They can't see you if you don't move. Don't even blink. What did I tell you? No blinking. Now we'll be sliced, diced, and spiced. I think it's better if you talk to him. Fine, I'll do it. Are you done? I think you know why we brought you here. Please spare us. I'm not ripe. You can hardly make decent bread out of me. And my partner? Well, he's not even a fruit. Well, he might be good with peanut butter. Or maybe cream cheese. Hmm. Cream cheese. We are not going to eat you. We need your medical expertise. A few days ago, our medicine man died of Fusarium pallidorosium. Hear that? Plumadium phallocardium. Obviously a serious case. Uh, so, if we help you, then we won't be part of the stew? No, you will not be part of the stew. Please let me consult with my esteemed colleague. These cannibals are obviously simpletons. I can hear you. We should try to dupe these primitives with reverse psychology. I can still hear you. After consulting with my counsel, we shall accept your extortion with the agreement that we will not be eaten. Do you think you can revive him, Doctor? Concentrate on your work, Solarius. This surgery needs a special sleight of hand. Let's see. A scalpel. The big scalpel, please. Um, peeing? We're friends, but not that close. Just stop pulling on my dress. All right, all right, I'm coming. Where are we going? You know something, Silerius? I love you, mate. You don't talk a lot, 
but I still love you. I mean it. And I would never eat you with peanut butter. Maybe cream cheese. <gasps> Hilarious. The whole bathing in smoothies thing. What happens in the jungle stays in the jungle, right? Let's keep it quiet. <laughs> 